Hi there, so today we're going to be learning how to make this pink crinoline fascinator. Here are the items you'll be needing to make this fascinator. And in learning it, you're going to learn how to make these strips and these lovely roses. You can see one is lifted up and the other one is flat. You're going to learn how to make it from this crinoline. And also you're going to be learning how to make this type of feathers by yourself from this type of feathers. So sit back, relax and enjoy today's tutorial. Okay, so let's make the feathers. So remember, these are the feathers I said we're making it from, but we're going to be using the pink since it's pink that our cream line is, but I have the light pink, not exactly the fuchsia. So you take one of the feathers and you try to, you get your scissors and you start cutting it straight to the stick that holds the feathers together. So you cut it all the way, not up, you leave like two inches with feathers still left behind. Okay, the next thing you want to do is to take your scissors and then give the feathers left behind a curl, shape it to form like an arrow shape. While doing that, you use your hand and wipe it out to bring out any one that is still sticking in and you cut it. So you're going to do this all the way round. And after you have done that, this is the feathers we have. Next, we measure out one yard that's 36 inches or from our crinoline remember this 2.5 inches 2.6 2.8 3 inches then we sew the edges both edges of the one yard of crinoline so i'm showing you how to sew the one of the edges so you do that with the other side and you cut out the excess after you're done with that the next thing you do you fold it into two and sew it from one end to the other end running stitches Keep watching and learning. Once we're done with that, you squeeze it so that it um, you know, follows a coil and squeezes together like so. And then you sew it together. Okay, make sure it's squeezed very well. Then this is the way you sew it, ensuring that when you take it from the top part, you pass the thread close by so it's not visible. Keep watching and learning. Okay, so that's the flat one. Now we're on to the one that raises up a bit. So this one, you're going to be turning it round. Remember, you've already done the sewing and um, um, by folding it and doing running stitches and squeezing it. The next thing you do is you just twist it around each other, turn it round like I'm doing, and then you sew it as you did the previous one. Now we made three roses, three roses, two flat and one that pops up a bit and all of them are one yard each making the three yards in total for all the roses keep watching that. next thing we're going to do is to um, get half a yard of crinoline the same crinoline and we're going to fold it into two like so half yard as 18 inches and i'm going to take another material and place on it and i'm going to iron it down all the way you're going to turn it both front and not front and back as in after you iron the side you turn it to the other side and iron so it stays straight keep watching and learning
If you are gaining value so far from this video, please do give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified of my upcoming new videos. Let's put it all together. So I'm taking the two flat roses that I made and I'm opening it up as you can see and placing one in between like so. Okay, then I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to sew it. Just watch and you would see how you can sew it. Then after that, I take the rose that pops up a bit and I place it like so. You need to take note of where I'm placing them and I sew it together so that the three roses become one big rose. Keep watching and learning. next thing I did was to take the strips that I ironed. Now I have four of them. That's um, uh, 18 into 4. That's 72, 2 yards. And I'm going to be sewing them at the back of the rows. You have to pay attention so you see the placement because some goes under, some goes on top. So just keep watching. I'm sure you'll get how it's done and how I reduced some length. So I didn't use the full 18 inches. So keep watching and learning. you're done with that the next thing you need to do is to sew your clip at the back of the pink crinoline elegant fascinator and this is the way you sew it keep watching and learning
after that you then cover it up with the pieces of material you must have cut out that can cover the back properly and I'm going to be making use of uhu gum to sew it to the back okay yes I discovered that I need to trim out the strand of my feathers to make it slimmer and not thick it wasn't looking so good thick so I trimmed it off and the next thing I did was to stick it into position all around the fascinator and here Here is the outcome. What do you think about this fascinator? You let me know in the comment section below. And if you loved it, also let me know in the comment section below. And also your question today is how many yards did I use to make the strips that were ironed down? Now I'm going to be picking one winner and that winner, you're going to be having a 50% discount on crinoline masters class which will help you to know how to manipulate crinoline why not check out this next video on another type of crinoline fascinator to learn